Okay, so basically we're going to be VOD reviewing my viewer, actually Z-Dog. He's been a supporter for a long time. And he just made his first earnings in the Solo Victory Cup Finals. So we're actually going to VOD review that and see how we won. And possibly how you guys could also make your first earnings doing the same thing. Sure, obviously lands this place. This place must be just so good for Surge if he needs any. Because obviously he lands so high up and there's so many floor spawns and everyone around him is just in that wide open. And then yeah, basically he's got like a ton of spawn there. So basically this is all just like a good setup to like have max mats when the end game starts and then just playing your mats out with your katana so you don't have to get a refresh at all basically until heal off and then we'll just win the game with that which like i'd probably say it's better that he's landing right on a katana because maybe in like a normal solo cash girl where it's like points matter maybe it might not even be worth it to go for that because he probably died he might die of spawn like pretty often there so it might not be the best thing for getting points and placing consistent, but if you want to win a game and get earnings in a tournament like this, you just have to go for a katana or nothing, you know? I guess he probably goes over here. I don't know if he does it on purpose, but he probably goes over here for his middle. He just needs to get cap everything and a katana and be at the start of first moving with max mats and katana, and you'll probably win if you have the white. So yeah, we're just gonna skip all the way to half half, basically, or whatever the zone is called. And while as you can see, like his mats down the bottom, one, two, six, it's basically capital mats, so like the best mats you could basically have at that point. And he's got the katana and he's got heaps of white heels. He's just got the basics, cap mats, katana, white heels. And then when he gets that, he just goes to endgame. And then basically now, since endgame is so short and the like moving zones are so like short, obviously with a katana, he doesn't really need to use like any mats on top of the endgame and moving zones being so short. So I assume He's just gonna katana box, katana box, and stay up high. Otherwise, when you go to katana, you could die because you'll be in congested areas. Won't be able to katana like up. So yeah, cool, skillful gameplay, katanaing, and then yeah, box, and he's already in zone. <laughs> Use like ten builds on first moving. Okay, there. He probably got a like quite a bit distracted from that person before and he ends up having to go out of zone to go to zone <laughs> which is really bad because he does use his white heels which are really important if you want to win the game so obviously before i mean it's pretty obvious there's not really much to say about it you just gotta literally just be more aware on the more important things because as well this thing here even though he got the kill he could have died to that easily because he was like, what, 130 health? He could have easily not been in that dangerous situation if he was focusing on the right things before. Because especially, like, going, looking for kills and stuff is important. But I feel like if you're in the position he was in, where he still had 100 builds and a katana, like, I feel like I or other people, like, wouldn't really have that much emphasis on looking for kills. So maybe his priorities are mucked up a little bit there, but it's fine. I still like, though, how we, like, went back into zone to like get a clearing to like use a katana because i feel like some worse players might have just been like oh i'm not a zone run straight towards zone and they just smash up against all these bills and die as well the one thing i don't like is how like low down he is right now because especially if you have 800 builds and you have a katana you don't want to be low down because look how many people he just ran into because you're so low down for no reason like he didn't need to run into those people And yeah, look how hard it is to katana when you low down. I feel like here at this point, where he's like constantly fighting with going down compared to when height's going down because he doesn't want to get pressured by height. Once you recognize that's what's happening, like people are constantly dropping down, making you constantly the next person that height's focusing. You need to realize, okay, this is gonna keep happening. Let me just drop like 15 layers at once or maybe a bit less dramatic than that. I'll probably just worry about, okay, this is happening. Let me just drop down to like, here maybe. Like a lot more at least, just so you're not wasting so many mats, dropping, boxing, dropping, boxing so much, you know? Like say you're second height, the next person below you is waiting until you drop below them and then they're gonna drop below you and it's constantly going round and round. So if you just drop 10 layers at once, you're nowhere near that guy that's fighting with you and you'll be fine. But yeah, then he just goes for heal off now. It's good that he did heal off quite a bit like earlier than where zone closed, which is like here. If you did it closer like this guy, if this guy's going to heal off, everyone knows that he's there and they know to go for a heal off but if you're like anywhere in this clump of builds here like this guy but he's in woods so it's easy to see but then like the person we're watching like there's no way if you were this guy looking for the last person there's no way you'd be like oh yeah he's probably right here <laughs> like you'd look down and look at these people 
and be like oh yeah these were the last people in the zone let me shoot them because they're probably healing off so usually like the earlier you can do it the better because like look at this guy he was like more forward and like closer to height and he wasn't wood it's just too obvious and then boomy wins like look how simple that game was even though like it's cringe like this cringe the way you won because like you don't have to fight many people but like the good thing is about it that you should learn is that like no matter what the meta is you should abuse it as much as possible because there's always a meta that you can abuse that's going to be cringe so you should always be abusing the meta like some people think that oh, i'm not really going to abuse the meta because it's kind of like good practice for the future but there's always going to be something to abuse if you don't abuse the meta to the complete maximum at all times you're just going to be constantly nerfed that's just like with um world cup where they used to have the ballers and people used to not use them just because they thought it was cringe or like to practice for the future but they just missed out on so much stuff just because they didn't want to be cringe <laughs> like come on and also his heals are enough to the point where he can wait that extra time because he's got pizza, slurp juices and chugs. Because obviously if he had less heals, he'd have to wait longer. And then when you have to wait longer, you're going to be more noticeable and visible to anyone that's still in zone. Yeah, let's go! Oh my god! 